Hello everyone, my name is Alfred Logro and today I will talk to you about how to address the robustness of neural network with mix-up and targeted labeling adversarial trainings. So first, let's define the problem. Neural networks are known to be sensitive to corruptions. They are sensitive to common corruptions. Common corruptions are all the perturbations that are often encountered in real-world applications but rarely present in academic datasets. It can be noises, contrast loss, rotation, and color distortion. There are a lot of kinds of common corruptions. Another threat for neural networks are adversarial attacks. Adversarial attacks, contrary to common corruptions, are artificial perturbation. They are especially made by humans so as to fool neural networks. And similarly to common corruptions, there are a dozens of adversarial attacks and it is difficult to make a neural network robust to all of them. A great issue with robustness of neural network is that it has been shown that addressing the robustness towards common corruptions doesn't imply addressing the robustness towards adversarial attack. And conversely, being robust to adversarial examples doesn't imply being robust to common corruptions. But the problem is even more complicated. It has been shown also that um, the robustnesses towards the corruptions that affect the texture of images um, are not correlated with the robustness uh, to the corruptions that affect the shape, uh, geometric transformation of images. And um, in general, the robustnesses of common corruptions are not correlated. So. Um, addressing the robustness towards one kind of current corruptions doesn't imply addressing the robustness to the other one. And this is also true for adversarial examples. Being robust to one kind of adversarial examples in general doesn't imply being robust to another kind of adversarial examples. Which means that addressing the robustness in a broad sense mm, is really difficult because it is hard to imagine a method that could help the neural network to be more robust to a so wide range of, com of corruptions that are all independent from each other. And so we propose one of the first methods to address the um, robustness of neural network in a broad sense called mTLATE. mTLATE is based on two components. First, mix-up, and then targeted labeling adversarial training, TLATE. Mix-up is a well-known data augmentation procedure that consists in interpolating images of the training set and their associated label, and train a classifier on the, associate, the um, interpolated images and labels. It has been shown that a classifier trained with mix-up has a higher clean accuracy than a classifier trained without it, it is more robust to common corruptions and it is more robust to label corruptions. The second compo component sorry, is TLATE, Targeted Labeling Adversarial Training. It is an adversarial training which consists in training a classifier on both clean images and adversarial examples. This is a traditional adversarial training. Um, to get an adversarial example, we usually proceed this way. Let us consider a clean image and a target label. And an, uh, let us consider an attack, for instance, FGSM attack, and the adversarial attack try to exploit the structure of an attacked classifier so as to generate an adversarial pattern. And when this adversarial pattern is added to the original image, we get an adversarial examples that tend to make classifier believe that the adversarial examples is n not here a wolf, but instead a truck, because truck is the target label of the attack. So the idea of adversarial training is to train the classifier on both adversarial examples and clean images so as to make classifiers more robust to adversarial examples because um, it has been trained on them and so it knows that it can be attacked by some adversarial patterns. The idea of targeted labeling adversarial training is just to change the labeling strategy of adversarial training. So instead of labeling the adversarial examples only with a ground truth label, so here only with a one hot encoded label with wolf, it is labeled with 
wolf, but also with a small part related to the target of the adversarial example, here, truck. Um, the idea may look not intuitive, but it is inspired from the paper entitled Adversarial Examples are not bugs, they are features. In this paper, it is shown that um, the adversarial patterns are not just random noise that doesn't make any sense. In fact, they are mm, highly predictive features that can be used by classifiers to make correct predictions in real-world applications. So it can be used by classifiers to make correct predictions. It makes sense in uh, the physical world. And so, if an adversarial example contains um, adversarial patterns that are invisible to human eyes but are present, but also patterns that are related to the original image, we think that it is coherent to label the image with both the ground truth label and also the uh, adversarial patterns that are present in the adversarial example. And we found that when a model is trained with Tlate, uh, we reach a higher clean accuracy than for a traditional adversarial training, which validate the hypothesis uh, that uh, suggests that uh, labeling adversarial examples this way is useful. So now we have our two components of mTlate, mix-up and targeted labeling adversarial training. Um, the idea is now to combine both approaches and first apply mix-up and interpolating uh, sam samples and labels of the training set and then use uh, our targeted labeling strategy to add adversarial patterns in the image and change the label so as to get a new couple of samples and label that both contain information about the two images used during the mix-up, but also about the target labels used um, during the adversarial generation. And then the model trained with mTlate are trained on both clean samples, but also with samples that have been generated with the data augmentation of mTlate. Now I want to know, is it possible that um, mTlate is able to make neural network more robust to a very wide range of common corruptions. To verify it, we propose to use the following benchmark that is composed of the corruptions of ImageNet C, some additional common corruptions that we think are missing in, in ImageNet C, and some adversarial attacks in white box and black box settings with a different amount of corruptions. To measure the robustness toward these corruptions, we use the following metric, called the robustness score. This metric consists in, for a neural network N tested on a perturbation phi, we measure the, robust, the accuracy of the considered neural network on a clean validation set, not corrupted validation set. And then we measure, we measure the accuracy of the same neural network on the same validation set, but this time corrupted with the phi corruption. The more the robustness score is close to one, and the more the neural network can be considered as robust to the considered corruption, and the more it is close to zero, the less it is robust to it. If we compute the robustness scores of a standard ResNet 18 that have been trained of, on ImageNet C, of ImageNet, sorry, um, and then we test its robustness to the corruptions of our benchmarks, we get um, the following scores. So we can see that the standard model is robust to some kind of common corruptions, such as uh, JPEG compression, but they are not really robust to other kind of corruptions, such as uh, Gaussian noise. Now we compare the performance of this model to a model trained with mixup. And we observe that the model trained with mixup is indeed more robust than the standard model to a lot of kind of corruptions, but unfortunately, it is less robust to some other kind of corruptions, especially uh, for uh, JPEG compression or um, some kind of adversarial example, for instance. If we train a model with only a uh, plate, we observe that also this model is less robust than the standard model to several kinds of corruptions. But 
If we combine both approach and train a model with mplate, we get a model that is more robust to the standard model to every corruption of our benchmark, which means that mplate can be used in industrial applications to make neural network more robust to a very wide range of current corruptions. We don't argue that the model is completely robust to these corruptions, but we argue that it surely help uh, whatever the considered common corruptions uh, common corruption is, and so it is very valuable uh, in the context on, of uh, industrial application when you don't know uh, which common corruption will affect your neural network or not. In further work, we would like to compare Amplate with other recent data augmentation methods, uh, such as uh, stylized ImageNet augmentation or Ogmix. We'd like also to replace uh, some part of mTLATE, uh, such as uh, the FGSM generation uh, of adversarial example part and the mix-up part, by PGD or manifold mix-up that can be seen as improvement of uh, both components. And maybe we could further increase the performance of a model trained with mTLATE by using these uh, other components. And finally, we would like also to test uh, the robustness of a model trained with mTLATE on other benchmarks such as ImageNet E or ImageNet Sketch or Nox and see if a model trained with mTLATE is robust to these benchmarks and see if our approach can be useful in other kinds of, um, of uh, tasks. Thanks for your attention. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask me at the question and answer session. I will be glad to answer you. And um, Thanks for your attention.